on a day that is full of emotion here in southwest Montana. You can also see a sense of community as hundreds of law enforcement personnel from all over the region, multiple states, have gathered here to remember one of their fallen brothers. Fallen Trooper affects everybody, not only in our state, but it affects everybody nationally. We, we're one out here, regardless of the uniform color. Um, we are one and we support one another and we're going to be there for each and every officer, trooper, ranger, um, agent that, that is out here. Very humbling to, uh, I guess, have the same feeling as all these other officers that are here and wishing it didn't happen. Uh, realizing that it can happen in this job, it's very humbling. There's everybody here has got family, and their family's looking at it thinking it could have been one of us. You know, it's, it's a very tragic thing, and it shouldn't should have never happened. There's a lot of things that we can't control in this job, and that's, that's one of them. There is no reason in today's society that a tragedy like this has to happen. We realize that it does happen, and to happen to somebody so young and have his whole life taken away, it's, it's just overwhelming. Like I said, we want to be here and uh, support everybody and uh, you know, let them know that this is a, a fallen brother and that you know, we, uh, we love this individual and we lost a, a very, very important person. I also had the chance to talk to one other law enforcement personnel and she told me that if she were to be killed in the line of duty, this is exactly how she'd want her funeral to be. From just outside Three Forks with cameraman Craig Rowboat, I'm Adam Bell from Montana's News Station.